Surveys, decides to launch one in there right into the back. I'm trying to deflect that ball. In there. Center half. And here's the ball inside. Header nut. Omato. And a 
Acosta just hovers right at the line, sometimes behind it. Rochester, near side, just out, just at the edge of the box. Promeros off the foot of Nate Hicklin. Right there, and the referee hadn't even set up the wall. Well, you gotta wait. Sharp header directed back the other way by Acosta. For the links. Sent down the outside. <clears throat> Here's Almeida. He was actually voted player of the year for the AII. Expect and sell. Ball comes over to Almeida. Fighting on the line. And this is the record for me, actually. Wow. Congratulations. Welcome to the Grizzly Digital Network. <laughs> I've I've broadcasted several games, but they've always been afternoon or evening. Yep. In 21, respectively. And in case you're unfamiliar with the soccer point system, well, we'll tell you that after the corner. Here's the corner. Headed in well high. You get a, a mobile x-ray machine. Mm -hmm. I don't know of too many people that do that. It's not quite the emergency room on wheels, but uh, anything shy of surgery, James Williams and the staff here at uh, George Gwinnett can take care of you in there. Nice job boxing out. Nearly had one squeak through. I love the idea there by Almeida. Nothing fancy. No need to bend it around the wall. No need to try to put it in the upper 90. Let's skip one right in front of the... Nice thing is the rain has stopped, at least temporarily. I'm sure the players appreciate that, but you see a lot of people in their long sleeves and gloves right now. Nature, but there's just so many external factors keepers cannot control here early on in this contest. It uh, probably makes them a little nervous, a little hesitant. Now, last corner looked pretty good. This one's coming in hard and I and oh, headed wide. Lee over to Zaldivar. I don't know. I think uh, one of these days we should have have a bracket for most fun name to say in the tournament. Oh, well, I need some more time to prep for that. Yeah, we'll see him all the way back on defense, breaking play, then all the way forward and going for a header. Absolutely. Which is kind of one of the main goals of midfield. Yeah, like so, what position do you play? Full field? <laughs> Excuse me? What <laughs> What number is that? Got it in to Cerulli. Down the line. Able to save it. Nicely done. There by Almeida. 
Good use of the right there, Miss. They've had three or four really good opportunities to put a nice shot on net and pulling the midfield. Drop back into the defense. Costa goes forward, good pass. Here in the elements, don't have any facilities down at the Grizzly soccer field just yet, so they're gonna huddle up here and share body warmth, try to get warm, try to get dry, but they're definitely gonna be. So those two teams will play at seven o'clock tonight and neither one of them has seen a PK. So you know what that means. It means we're gonna come down we're to We're going to PKs <laughs> tonight at about 10 o'clock. So, uh, so uh, I, uh, Coach Martelli was able to give me a hard time about From left to right now. And your Ashford Saints are in white going from right to left. Here's the kick. Coming in all the way in and snagged, dropped down to the ground and rolling and holding on to it. I'll say it. I expected Ashford to dominate this game and dominate this tournament. The fact that the four seed is hanging around here in the first 50 minutes of soccer. And coming for the Lynx. Rain if started to pick back up here again. I, I hate to drop back. This means taken away and kicked down by Brown. Almeida sending it forward, knocked back. So Matt, what do you think is the key for the Lynx? No need for the Lynx to panic, plenty of time left. They only trail by one. Right idea by the Lynx, but you have to make sure you do the little procedural things correctly. Be real interesting to see what Belleville does with this ball right here. Straight shot. <gasps> Off the hands and in! Just like that, they tie the game from about a third of the field away. We've got a 1 1 game. Without a doubt, 40 plus yards away from the goal. Right to the links, though. They have not backed down at all. Even now, with the 2 1 deficit, have a corner kick. They're still looking for that tying goal. That one squeaked all the way right through. Had a couple guys that almost had a chance. Sent to the far side and no maroon jerseys there at all. You get it off the bounce, though. Let me know when you want another mascot anomaly. I got one for you. Sure, right now the ball's out of bounds. Tight games that are well played. I enjoy tight games that are well played that have goals in them a lot better. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Where it's going and so obviously being able to relate to a school like GGC where everything's new and we're transitioning and uh, a, a four-year college here in the last six years. There's no accountability. That's why, just to educate the few, that's why I actually will read and follow and listen. Get up, by Belleville. Now a nifty move cleared. As Belleville has a player down, but WVU Tech continues play. First inside the box to Martin, deflected and carried out. As Jose Silva. So free kick will be taken. Silva lays it off for Riley, who drives it in the box and headed in! Goal for what? Goal for Lindenwood Belleville against the runner play. Not that time as Fabian loses out and then promptly turns it back over to Joe Cap. Tarabio cleared out by. This is Glenroy Miller. Raul Martin will lose out on the pursuit to Rodrigo. 